I've made a lot of videos about Next.js 13 revalidation and API route handlers. Something I've learned is that it seems like if you use a client side component using the use client at the top of the component, a lot of times revalidation does not work as intended as the documentation states. So you may be wondering in your functions, if you're using a fetch call and you're maybe saying uh, revalidation one or no store no catch or at the bottom of the page you're you're putting uh setting revalidation to uh zero or something like that it doesn't seem to be working in production whenever you go to the page you might be refreshing the page and the data is not being updated well this video i went ahead and created a whole collection of debugging ideas to help you fix your revalidation a lot of it has to do with just the fact that uh uh, most of this was designed for server-side components, but I have some fixes for you in this video. If you are using a lot of client-side components, you can still revalidate your data, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. The easiest way I know to debug and follow along is to go to nextchat.ai and sign up. There's something called a prompt library here. I'll show you how it works using nextchat.ai. I created a prompt to go along with this video that you can use in your conversation. Uh, this works just like ChatGPT, except there's prompt libraries. And I'll show you how it works. First, if you want to follow along, you can go to nextchat.ai, click sign up. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. Once you're logged in, there's something over here called a global prompt library that you can click on. I just created a prompt. Uh, you can just search TJ prompt. I put words TJ prompt at the end to let you know that this is a prompt I made. Uh, this one, next.js13 revamp validation debugging, you can copy this prompt, come back to a next chat conversation, just paste that into that conversation. And now this uh, teaches next chat everything about revalidation with a new API route handlers. So I can say, for example, this, uh, this route here, this component here, if I were to send this to production mode, this would revalidate in development mode. But I've noticed once I go to production mode, all my revalidation breaks. And here's the example of the Git endpoint I created for this. I created this in another video. Well, I notice in production, whenever I go to production and refresh the page, this does not update. This Git time does not update. It's supposed to refresh every second. I'm supposed to see a new time, but it won't do it. It'll only show the time that uh, is there the very first time I visit the website. doesn't matter how many times I refresh the page. It won't revalidate. And I think I've learned it's because this is a client side component. If this were a server side component, it probably would work. But because this is a client side component, it's not working. This prompt here will teach everything related to uh, how to get it working for server side components. But say um, I'm saying uh, I am using a client side component, um, the data on the screen will not revalidate uh, even after refresh or something like that. Let's just see what it tells us to do. So it'll go ahead and explain to you if you're using a client side component in Next.js 13, your uh, data on the screen will not revalidate. So you're kind of stuck with a cached version of the page, but there is a fix. This is a, a bit of a hack that I discovered. And it's the only way I know to revalidate the data on the screen if it's a client-side component. So it says to add revalidation to a client-side component, one approach would be to change your API endpoints from get to put. And it explains when an API endpoint is a put request, Next.js will automatically revalidate the data in the component, making the put request. Uh, so again, this is kind of a hack. It's sadly, as of September 20. 23. It's the only way I know in production how to uh, have a client side component revalidate the data. So something I figured out with Next.js 13 is if you have a Git endpoint, uh, any data received from a Git endpoint will not revalidate. Like no matter what I do, it just won't revalidate. I can put in a revalidate path. There's also something else. Now you, uh, you can say uh, revalidate uh, true. There's something like 
like that, but even nothing will work, at least in my experience. With client-side components, nothing works um, that's in the documentation. The only thing that does work that I figured out is I'm just going to comment this stuff out. Literally just change this to a put request. Change your get endpoints to put endpoints in your API route handlers, and then the data will update correctly. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and go back to our conversation. Uh, I'll say I changed my get endpoint to this. There we go. Uh, and I'll say update this fetch request to be a put request. And I'll come back here. This is how I use next chat all the time. It's super valuable if uh, if y'all are interested. This is like a more secure way to use chat GPT because this doesn't keep track of your conversations. Um, so I'm just going to tell it to update this get request to be a put request. And we'll go ahead and change it to method being put. And so I'll come back here now and update this uh, code here. And so now this will work with the put request. So it literally does exactly what a get request does. It's just now a put request. It's almost embarrassing uh, to, to be showing this, uh, but it is a hack that does work with client side components. And sadly, it's the only way I know to update client side components in production mode. So if you were to do this, for example, in production, this is like the revalidation fix. It's like, you know, there's one ring to rule them all in Lord of the Rings. Well, this is the one revalidate fix to fix them all that I've discovered after spending probably weeks trying to figure this out. And I finally figured out, I think revalidation just doesn't work in client side components, at least as of right now. And so if I change it to put endpoints, though, Next.js automatically revalidates the page, even if it is a client side component. So that's just one of many fixes potentially in this uh, Next.js prompt, this Next.js revalidation debugging prompt. I also put a lot of different uh, potential fixes that you could try before uh, doing the emergency change your Git endpoints to put endpoints. Um, there are other fixes that I did put in that prompt. I show how to use all the caching features that should definitely work in server-side components, but you could try them out first. So you could start asking in the conversation other uh, methods for fixing the, the endpoints and, and you could follow along that way. But I just wanted to give you guys this uh, fix. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Are you guys loving Next.js 13 or not? I'm like, there's some things about it I am not loving. I'm just going to be honest uh, and revalidation would be probably very top of the list. Like I literally, to use client side components, I like have to change my Git endpoints to put endpoints just to make my app work, which is ridiculous. Uh, let us know your thoughts below. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.